Okay. This is Abiding Place. I think it's October 28th, 2019. And we are here joining together in the presence of the Lord and all of heaven to turn into heaven. And we come through the blood of Jesus and in delightful fellowship with the angels and the seven spirits and Lady Wisdom and all the beings here who love and support us, the many angels, including um, great help and great love and great grace and great peace. The living letters and um, and all the, the saints in white linen. And we just turn into where we gathered together earlier as well, which is a place of perfection. Um, we perceived it at first as a party with a, a fire, a big bonfire in the middle, and people as children dancing around it and the father presiding over it. And we had the sense of the whole cosmos joining in with us or us desiring to invite and include. And it was a place we experienced more than saw, I think, where we had such a sense of the rightness and the order and the wholeness, the essence, nothing being out of alignment, nothing out of its proper place, but everything exactly as it should be. And there was a lot of joy here. There is a lot of joy here. And so I'm just picturing us now all actually as part of that circle around the fire and we'd seen that the fire was purity and it was a, a delightful place and we had uh, those from the cloud of witnesses joining us as well it was very inclusive so we invite you to um, engage in that place with us and see what else we would be shown or experience here. I'm sensing Jesus leading a conga line. And that sounds rowdy and it it sees I see it in the picture and it's very joyful. And, and there is joy, but it isn't like, it doesn't feel raucous. It feels, again, just that peace, that deep rightness.
And now I'm sensing and kind of beckoning us to draw in nearer we as a smaller group to be to be shown something. So I'm not really sure how this plays in. Um, so I was seeing the Congo line and then I saw um, it kind of turn into like, well, first when I entered in, I felt like I was floating. So I didn't really feel, I felt like I was flying. I didn't really feel like I was, you know, walking slow with kicking my, you know, my legs out. And then, and then I saw it kind of turn into like a, a, like a comet's tail, like a comet's tail. And so I saw it kind of going around that way. And then um, I was reminded when we went in earlier, I didn't mention this, but um, um, I saw us all as uh, light and that we would come and go as, um, you know, like, I think it's Star Trek where they did the time travel where they would, when you would see them disappearing, you'd see like the little, um, the little sparkles that would fade in and fade out, like as it was transforming you from um, one Trans dimension. Mm -hmm. Yeah, one dimension to another. Well, I felt that this comet tail was kind of made out of that same type of um, pure light. And I don't know anything else. Mm. Well, that really makes sense to me if it's, you know, purity and perfection and then right order. Our, our, our essence is light. We are light beings, creative light beings. Yeah, so we're like charged particles. Mm. Just feeling the truth of that in, in my body that our true essence is as our fathers, he is light. So perfection is one of the realms of heaven. I believe that this is what we're looking at. This is what we're being engaged into. And I, I was thinking earlier that it's a place that our souls, I believe, and our bodies really, really long for. And all of creation longs for it. 
not to be in this place where everything is absolutely in perfection. And so happily we can actually engage it <laughs> right now. So I just want to encourage us um, again to open up all our, our, our gates, to embrace what we're being shown and to activate our, agree that we activate our eyes, our ears, our sense of smell, taste, touch, feel, and sense, sensing as well, discerning as well, and, 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 Share what you're feeling, what you're hearing, what you're sensing. Um, all of that's just as relevant as actually seeing something. Mm -hmm. So I just want to encourage you to look what's what's the colors around. What 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 else are you? Um, as I said, sensing. We also can just acknowledge that we submit our spirit, soul, and body to the government of Holy Spirit, and we do depend and rely on Holy Spirit to show and tell. So, mm -hmm. I always forget something. <laughs> if you're sensing something, it's a little different than, or you don't know how it fits in, just feel free to share it anyway. Mm -hmm. But I would like to say this too, is that we do exist in all the realms already. It's just that we haven't experienced them all, right? So you, we all do exist in this realm of perfection. I think what I'm sensing also is kind of since Kathy said about like the transporter beam and as light, just sensing that limitlessness and the transporter beam would take you from one place to another and all around. And I, I'm almost seeing, seeing like a ping pong <laughs> thing where, or a, a pinball machine kind of where just for fun, we can flash in and out and, and trans relocate just hopping around just for the fun pattern it makes. Um, just playfully engaging in the possibilities that are open to us in this realm of perfection in our essential nature. And I believe we're, that is something that is going to be manifesting on earth as well. And yeah, fun place to practice.
And another level of perfection. Um, just sensed Papa kind of whooshing us up all together into his heart. So where would you say that we all are right now? Are we all um, being swooshed up into the Father's heart? Like That's what I just perceived. Okay. But if people are perceiving other things, that's great too. There's just such an absolute sense of belonging. And if anybody else has seen anything differently, please feel free to share because it all it all is part of what God's wanting to show us. Yeah. So nobody withhold. Even if it's nothing like what's been described thus far. Exactly. Totally valid. I'm sensing the Father say, I want you to know yourself as perfectly loved. And that any perceived shortcomings are not how he perceives us. That's good. And it's important to know that the realm of perfection has nothing to do with our own perfection or to do with perfectionism. It's a state of being in him. That's true. I was just seeing so much white so much of this color of this very bright, bright white and so pure and pure sound and clear sound and just as you said earlier, Quinn, such a sense of complete 
complete rest in perfection <laughs> and it's so good to recognize that that's what we were brought into it's not something we could ever have earned it's who we originally are it's it's our true full image that is in perfection <laughs> Just want to encourage everybody your your uh, contribution really helps it really facilitates it really it's really valuable so don't hold back <laughs> Uh, can I say something? Last time, uh, the first time I joined, immediately after we start praying last week, uh, last time, immediately I saw Taiwan's map, and then God told me that there's going to be divine door opening, and then someone mentioned that we can pray about it this week, so we can do that afterwards. Yeah. Since we're in Father God's heart, so I think it's a good. <laughs> Good time to pray about it. Well, thanks, Esther. Um, earlier, when we were um, when we started engaging and we found ourselves like in this this realm of perfection, um, we saw mm -hmm. the whole of the cosmos was being drawn in. You know, every not only the earth and all the different you know cultures and races, but the whole cosmos was being drawn in. Do the we're just seeing. Well, the whole cosmos was being embraced into this and was present in this in this place of this realm of perfection so that would include taiwan but was yes taiwan? why don't you go ahead and pray for esther though because we can just direct this we're experiencing this and we can focus and and just agree that taiwan is lining up with god's purposes and order in this way too um how does it uh so um i can give a little bit brief explanation of the whole thing uh i moved from san antonio texas to phoenix got home to quit my job and pack things get rid of most of the thing and move here so during this time of month um show me the key that he's gonna give me and now two weeks ago he said he's gonna open door for Taiwan and I'll have a, he will open up the divine encounter divine opportunity divine contact to Taiwan mm. um, and then I saw that two weeks ago and 
the detail, God did not tell me any more detail. Even today, I was seeing a, another prayer meeting of a church. And someone just said, God only show you one step at a time. Mm-hmm. So uh, I think the reason why that God showed me uh, two weeks ago, immediately in this meeting, maybe for me to share and so people can come in and agree and pray more. So if you guys have any revelation, since we're in Father's, Father God's heart, and that would be helpful. If not, then that's fine too. Thank you, that's good. We just call forth your next step to be revealed. Amen. And also, we, we're realizing that we call to actually um, engage in the realms of heaven to see and um, release what we're seeing in heaven in order for it to then manifest in the earth. So we, bring, we agree that Taiwan is part of um, what we're engaging here, that, that Taiwan is part of the, the purposes of Father to manifest his manifest perfection among the, among the saints there, to manifest the, the um, purposes that you have in your scroll. So while we're together over the whole realm of perfection, we just can see with our own, you know, begin to see Taiwan in that place of perfection, begin to see the saints in Taiwan engaging perfection um, and, you know, just whatever it is that you get shown in the realms of heaven, that is where everything forms of the vision before it gets released into the earth. So, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And we also, one of the things that we again uh, realized was this place of perfection is, is such a place of deep contentment and rest. It's almost like, <laughs> you know, you've come to that, you've come to realize that place where you know, nothing's missing, nothing's lacking, nothing is just, you're in the beginning and the end. You're in, you're in this place where nothing, nothing else is needed, you know? And so it's a place of deep rest for everybody. And so you can rest, Esther, knowing that that path will unfold. Um, Sorry, say that again. Your, your path will unfold. You can rest. Um, mm-hmm. And we, we just do, I just feel led to say again, we, we do call forth, Esther, your next step towards the one and for that to be released from heaven into the earth, for God to make a straight path before you. And Amen. however that is going to go, it usually isn't how we think it will. <laughs> yeah. Amen. Such a deep peace. It feels like floating in water now.
I'm wondering about looking at the world now from this perspective. Michelle, you said we already exist in this realm and, and everything does in the heart of God. Everything is in its perfect form. And I wonder if we can, when we're facing the imperfect, to call it forth from here. What I sense is as we are being drawn into this realm of perfection and we're going to get to know it better and better, that what's going to happen is it's going to start to be a realm around us. Mm. And we just saw in this perfection, we saw such, we saw pure purity, you know, and, and the holiness. And so it's a, it's a realm uh, that'll that'll um, be like a, a circle around us, and it will draw people right in. What we bring, mm. the atmosphere. Yeah, and we also obviously can can um, you know governmentally agree that it's released in the earth and so on. Mm -hmm. Just seeing that. Uh, as we as we grow into uh, abiding, experiencing, confirming the reality of it, it begins to be that realm around us. Mm. And there, there's such a sense of like well-being about being in the realm of perfection, isn't there? And we can look around and see what we see and. And if you smell <laughs> a fragrance, earlier I smelled this fragrance, it smelled like clean and I couldn't quite, um, couldn't quite um, put a name to it. And then uh, when you said, it's, it's, does it like a cedar? And it's exactly what it was. And I don't know that, that the cedar is, is known for it. What's it? clean, is that what it is? Purity. Purity, purity, that's right, purity. That's what I was smelling, that was so pure. And I saw something earlier for, at the beginning and until now, and it keeps showing, so maybe a little bit different than what you guys are sharing. I saw the throne of God, and one leg of his throne of God is on top of the entire earth. That's how big his throne chair is. Mm -hmm. And the other three chair, I cannot see where it is, but just one throne, one leg of his throne mm -hmm. occupied the entire earth. <laughs> and I keep seeing that. Mm -hmm. So I thought uh, probably I, I need to share that. Mm -hmm. No, I'm glad you did. Thank you. It is his realm that he is gov governing over. Yeah. With us. And I think, he's, <laughs> I think he's saying that there's no plan, no plan of his is too big for him. He owns the universe. Yep, and I was also getting with that that um, it can be in both places at one time. 
So we can mm -hmm. have a foot yeah. here, a foot there. That the um, our our throne as well is in both realms. Amen. And I think the essence of God having that um, that pure scent. Um, also reminds us of the um, perfection, the state of perfection. That's good. I just want to remind you all that you can put a, um, if you aren't able to unmute or something and speak, uh, you can put a chat and uh, we'll put your, we'll share your chat. Anybody seeing what we actually look like in this place of perfection? I resonated when Kathy said light. When we were, she said we were. It was something particles. Um, yeah. Pos what was it? Charged? <laughs> yeah. Charged light particles. But then when it was sensing, when I was sensing Papa, you know, whooshing us up and floating, I felt more like I had a, a normal form just to interact with. Yeah, exactly. That's I think that's I, when, well, go ahead, Esther. Oh, that's what I was getting, but I hesitated to share because there's a verse coming up beautiful in form and in appearances. Oh. I saw a human form. It's all translucent, but beautiful in form and in appearances. In, in Father God's heart. Hello? Did I lose everybody? That's, lo that's lovely. Thanks. That's lo no, we're here. Yeah. I'm yeah. just writing it down, actually. <laughs> <laughs> I resonate with that because it just reminded me of that image that I kept seeing of, you know, being the particles and then seeing us in form and then seeing us in particles and seeing us in form. Um, yeah. And that's and that's like light being both a wave and a particle. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Right. And also that beautiful in form and in appearance that is how mm -hmm. we are perceived by God. Yes. Yeah, and, and talk about being at rest um, in that form, either form. Mm -hmm. 
it's like we don't have to work at it, you know, it just hap it, it it just is. It just happens. Amen. Because, Michelle, you've been talking a lot about, um, I want to call it, I know it's not neons, but um, um, in our bodies, like the electromagnetic pulse thingies. Neurons? Neurons, thank you. <laughs> Yeah, uh, neuron pathways. Yeah. Yeah, neuron pathways. Yeah. That's in our physical bodies. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah, that our physical bodies are made up of these neuron pathways, which actually are meant to be like white light filled, lo love filled neuron pathways that produces or expresses the trees of life that we are. And um, so that's another that's another way in which we actually, I'm sure, are, are um, exp express or look like a um, manifest of perfection when uh, the neuron pathways are full of light within us, and all the neuron pathways are founded in love and, and rooted in love and, and expressing love. And there's no fear in the neuron pathways of our being, our physical being, or in the soul realm either. And that's why um, we can, we can um, speak to those pathways, speak life to those pathways. Yes. Mm -hmm. I mean, talk about being able to have control over your, your, um, your body. Yes. Mm -hmm. By your spirit versus your soul. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, do we want to together um, call forth the, that love and light to fill our neuron pathways? Because in perfection, I'm sure that's the way it is. Yes. Yeah, it's almost like we want to have them meet together, like um, in alignment, because it's been so, they haven't been, you know? Yes. Mm hmm Yeah, yeah, go ahead and... Okay. Anybody who wants to agree, feel free to, or expand, just jump on in. Yes. So from here, from the realm of perfection in the heart of God, where we are experiencing ourselves as both form and particles, and we are thankful for the, the revelation, the knowledge about these neuron pathways that here in perfection are fully as they were intended to be just full of light and love mm -hmm. and we call that forth mm -hmm. into our bodies mm -hmm. that it would be on earth as it is in heaven mm -hmm. yeah yeah for that to be our way of being that our abiding place. Mm. Yes. Would be the heart of God, the realm of perfection. Mm. You know, it's many things because everything's multidimensional, but mm. that's the focus right now. Neuron pathways, we call forth your alignment with light and love and separated down to 
our true essence, nothing that does not belong mm-hmm. in our neuron pathways, mm-hmm. but full and flowing with the truth of our of our true existence. Yes. Thank you, Lord, for this beautiful place that we exist in, the realm of perfection. And thank you that you exist in us as the realm of perfection also, Lord. Mm. And you and us, and we're just in agreement with what we just have activated. I'm also thankful that we, now that we have engaged this place, that we we have a place, a, a throne to sit in, in the realm of perfection. And we have, and we have a crown. We have a crown, crown of rulership to participate in and to release the realm of perfection. Have it live in us and release out of us. And we're excited for it to grow. Yes, yes, yes. Grow, and that we can always come here, and we can always meet you here, and we can we can just live in. And, and continue to engage this reality of the perfection realm. Thank you so much, Daddy. Mm. feel like that's just a glimpse of where we're going wow yeah wow 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 Mm -hmm. I don't believe there are any courts in the realm of perfection because there aren't any needed. (laughs) (laughs) No. No, it's as it is. Mm. As it is. Maraha. As it is. Oh, it's so lovely, yeah. Yeah. There's something also about this realm of perfection that I'm, I'm just loving, and it's a sense of the whole wholeness of well being. Like, um, you're so totally honored and dignified and that I don't know how to try and put it into words. It's not even the sense of belonging. It's the sense of, I suppose, perfection, being perfect, being Um, there's such a sense of dignity 
and honor and worthiness associated with that realm of perfection that we're in. Yeah, those as part of our core identity. I don't know about you, but I, I could meditate on this for a while. I think we could frame it up. Yes, go ahead. So thank you, Lord, for showing us this, this realm of perfection and how you see us. And how we um, see ourselves. and how we will we can trans transfer this to our neuron pathways of our bodies this new identity of perfection mm. yes such a weight on it that it's hard to even talk mm. uh -huh. <laughs> so if somebody wants to finish framing we could get lost in this realm <laughs> So, but we just want to say we're so thankful to you, Lord. We know that we have now access, accessed it and we can we all continue to access it. So we just want to embrace it into the depths of our heart, into the garden of our heart and seal it and know that um, we're going to grow in all that this means. And so we're so thankful to you, Lord. Amen. Amen. Amen.